Act 3. Boxing Hell. I have to say, this level is the definition of why I didn't want to do Sonic 1, a Let's Play of Sonic 1, before I did a Let's Play of Sonic 2. Because this level, this fucker of a level, is fucking retarded. It's the definition of shit. And I can tell you that for a, a fact. It's not fiction, it's a fact. Why? Because this fucking level is fucking everywhere, and I lost my fucking first shield already! Fucking bastard! Ugh. This is why I do not want to do a Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Because this level is insane. I don't even know why all these air balls are here, because if you get the air ball while jumping in mid-air, you will get owned by that Freaking spiked ball. Then what's the point of this level? Yeah, I know this level's supposed to be the fourth level of the game, but originally, it, in the original layout of the game, this was gonna be the second level of the game. I mean, they must have loved water that much that it was gonna be the second level, and they're like, oh wait, there's gonna be a difficulty spike. So they're saying, oh yeah, we'll put it in the fourth level of the game, rather than the second, because... Because there's that much of a clusterfuck of a level. Like, I mean, it's not even a level. You can't even class it as a level. It's that bad. And yes, I am sniffing. I am sorry if I'm sniffing. sniffing. I just got uh, a cold, and... I'm not happy about it. Driving me insane too. See what the fuck? <sighs> Some of the elements in this game, in this level, is pointless. I mean, I mean, what's the point of getting an invisibility box if the spikes are just gonna ram you up the ass? What's the point of that? Why? That's one of the, this level's fucking stupid gimmicks. Underwater bloody jack shit. And yes, I was still getting the air bubbles even though I've got invisibility. Why? Because if I go out of invisibility, it's gonna fucking screw me over for one thing, and two, that underwater running out of breath theme is gonna be playing a fucking hell of a lot, because this level fucking hates people that do Let's Plays on this game. I mean, this level is an example why a Let's Player doesn't want to do something the Hedgehog 1 as a Let's Play project. Because this level, you can get absolutely wrong every fucking time you film it. Like I mean, you lose your shield to that... Yeah, just jump straight back in the water, yeah. That's, that's, that's gonna help. Sometimes you gotta say, fuck it, and go. And this level really hates me. Look at that. Friggin' lag. You get hit on the water, there will be lag. Really laggy. And what's the point of it? I have no fucking idea. I don't know what the point is with that being so slow when you get hit. And I was just about to die. I just had the counter again. That's why the music replayed when I got an air bubble. And oh shit! That was fucking close. Did you see how close that was? And I'm just gonna have to fucking wait. This this level. This is why some people hate this game. I reckon because of this level. 
Not not the final zone when you have no rings. No, it's not that. What the hell? Oh, okay. We need to get to the first cork, so... Are you watch? This is a stagger... A friggin' narrow... Jumping wall that you have to jump up to. And here is what we, when we'll see Dr. Robotnik. And yes, I did get it right that time. Thank God. And there he is, the fucking bastard. Why are you here in this level? It makes no sense. This is not your doing. This is just this level's doing. I do love the theme for Doctor Robotnik in this level, in this game. I mean, this was the first, the first game, and yet it has a theme like this. That is what you call. You know what? Screw this fucking game. <sighs> really raged that point. Uh, but yeah, basically the trick to that is that you walk straight back to the left, and you think you've missed it. When you think you've missed it, or you know that you've missed it, basically walk straight to the left, back to the checkpoint in the waterfall, and the water will drop back down. A lot of people think that they're gonna die at this point, like at that point. Which is one thing that I do hate about this level. Is that you die a hell of a lot. And especially in this level. Wow. This stage itself is fucking stupid. Get another shield. What's the point of another shield? Ah! Out of the way, bitches. Sonic the Hedgehog is here. That labyrinth zone? Ha! It's a joke. It's a joke to Sonic games. All around. People think of a Sonic game? It's either the really bad Sonic 06? Hey, I've been on the second try this time. Hells to the yeah! Well, we finally tackled the longest, well, can be the longest at times, well, second longest at least, level of this game, Labyrinth Zone, and the fucking worst level of the game. Now we move back to more speed platforming in Starlight Zone. Did I tell you, this stage is epic. You can get really fast in this zone when you do know where all the... I'm just gonna go back up there. I'm gonna try and get back up there. Looks like it's not doing it for me. Alright, and you can go back here and get that life. But basically, yeah... There's a hell of a lot of speed platforming in this. Keep forgetting that I don't have the spin dash in this game. Well, Sonic Genesis does, but that game sucks. But technically, yeah, this will have a hint, a hint of um, brightness in this because um, this zone. I think, I think it's my camera itself, is that with black as a colour, as a shade colour, it doesn't like it, and it actually puts the, it really puts off the, the picture. 
So technically the picture right now is all shiny, as you guys can see. Ow! What the hell? Did I get crushed? How the hell did I get crushed though? Wow. But yeah, this zone isn't half bad. You know, it is a sixth level. But, you know, it's not as bad as Labyrinth Zone. And I'm probably not gonna get that life. Again. Because it just takes way too long to get it. But yeah, so this this level itself isn't really that tone on killing you. It does have these flame things, however, and I just died again. Anyway. But yes, this level, you know, isn't that bad. It's got a nice theme to it. Which is, I think, a city-based level. Sort of like a city escape. Yeah, I did bring that up again. But yeah, I do love city escape. I don't, I don't, like, I did, re as you guys saw probably a while ago, if you haven't, then um, you must be new to my channel. I did actually um, hate on IGN's um, Sonic Generations review video. And a lot of people are thinking, why did you do that, Mario Man? It's, it's IGN. Well, I don't particularly like IGN for one of these, well, one of the reasons is this is why I raged. One of the reasons one of the reasons why I don't like him anymore is because of the rage. Like the actual my rage and what they've done in the actual thing itself. But technically they said that Modern Sonic's voice well, the guy that said it, which was, um, Nick Perez or something, no, I can't remember his name, he's, he's just an idiot, for one thing. And, I didn't like IGN for it, because he said that Modern Sonic's voice was retarded as shit, and they're saying, why do you like it? If, if anybody likes it, why do they like it? I like it because... Originally, in Sonic Colors, I didn't actually understand fully on what was going on. Like, he changed his voice actor, and I knew that, but I didn't really like the voice that he had at that point. And it, I thought it sounded weird. I thought, well, actually, jokes isn't what Sonic does. Sonic is pretty serious in these. But, as Sonic Generations came out, I got used to his voice. I mean, I've played Colors for like, three days, and we have another instance where there is a red spring right at the start of a level. Ah. But yeah, I do. I do love the high speed platforming in this game. If you find the right inclines, you can go full out, full on speed. Okay, okay all those bombs blew up. <laughs> oh my god, I was thinking, oh no. But anyway, basically, I reckon I had, because Jason Griffith's voice, a lot of people don't, don't think about it too much. Like, I reckon you have to get used to someone's voices before you can say that they're not a good voice actor. Like, a lot of people thought when Ryan Drummond wasn't the voice for Sonic anymore, 
um, I think that was thinking, wow, this guy really is serious. He really, really doesn't sound like Sonic. But when, when the next game came along, and yes, I did go into another, um, special stage. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew it. Have a look at that. That down there is a goal. And we have our pink emerald, people. See, I knew it. I knew it. I said to myself, I said when that was there were those rings were there, I was like, I think that is a bloody goal post. And it was. And I hate these bumpers. It's gonna kill me, no. I thought it was. Uh, I did say it was gonna kill me, yes. That's what I did say, yes. No, 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 no! Damn, that was close to the emerald! You guys could see that was close to that emerald. God damn it. God, I really hate this game for that. Well, look at that, 172,740 points! God, I'm good. And look, we're almost at the end of Starlight Zone. How about that? Whoa. Okay, that is the first instance that I've seen myself almost... Go full on... Off screen. Basically, that I think that's the first instance since. Shit, that was close. I think that was basically almost the first instance in this game that I've actually went almost off screen. Huh? How about that? That's why they're on the roof because they wanted to screw me over with their awesome trail of dust. And basically, I do like this game a hell of a lot, but I don't particularly enjoy it as much as Sonic 2 or Sonic 3, for that matter. And I think a lot of you guys know why I don't really like this game. It's because of Labyrinth Zone. I think the coming next Scrap Brain Zone can be a bit of a bit of a hitter. It's not as bad as, say, um, oh, I did not know that you could do that. Some instances I didn't even know that you could go through a wall at that point. But anyway, basically, what I was saying is, um, what was I saying? Hold on, I'm trying to think of it. I don't particularly. That's what I. That's what I was talking about. My reasoning for Sonic One. But you know, it's Scrap Brain Zone isn't as bad as Labyrinth Zone for a lot of reasons. And here we are at the boss. This is one of the instances where we actually have a boss which you can actually use his bombs as a weapon. <laughs> I remember that this boss can actually yeah, shoot it, his spikes as a weapon. Completely forgot about that. Oh god damn it, I was that close. Oh god damn it. Ah no no I got my ring. Oh yeah, I was thinking that was gonna be a bad spot. Ha! There we go. 
But yeah, basically what I was saying is that um, Scrap Brain Zone is not as annoying as Labyrinth Zone, but I do hate it. I do, I do, I don't particularly like it. I don't really hate it. I just don't particularly like it as.